was sixth last year, and tonight he's really, really in the mix. He's a... Yeah. He brings the whole family. From Dallas, Texas, ladies and gentlemen, Steve Kuklo. All right, the kook has taken the stage, big Steve Kuklo. Steven ruined my shirt. <laughs> Steve's arguably the most improved, I feel like, for the show so far. You know, we saw him this morning, and, man, he looked awesome. He was, I mean, it was quite clear the judges had him in the top four. Uh, and that's yeah. pretty impressive in itself. Uh, and that's a big improvement from last year, where I know he did well mm -hmm. last year, but... Uh, I can see the, the, the details you can see are, are much better. Um, separation was, was Steve's nemesis in, in years past. You can see by his legs uh, right there, Luke. You see those lines going up in, in, into the hips? Um, that's much improved. You can see he's not listen nothing. Um, his back, which was a weak point, now isn't. And you're going to see that when he turns around. We well, always say that word, don't you? Refinement. And people say, oh, he, just, he needs to refine. I mean, to me, that normally means absolutely nonsense. You know, one thing. But this is, what, this is what refining really is. He's no bigger than he was three years ago, but he just looks way better, harder, more separation. One thing I noticed um, from the morning show, the prejudging to now, is his presentation in terms of the oil and the color. And while people may not think that makes that big a difference, but he's got, I mean, it looks improved and that just makes him look sharper as well. Well, that's called polish and that's what you want. Most guys, uh, they'll kind of redo their tanning in between. So most guys are darker at the night show. Uh, you know, the, the uh, body's had time to absorb all that color and oil and all that stuff in the morning. But you can see right there, Luke, um, much improved from years past. But Steve's got all the makings. I mean, you know, there's there's people who have touted Steve as a, you know, future Olympia contender for legit. Uh, so it could be that he's coming into his own this year. Yeah, that's and, exactly what it looks like the last, I would say, two years. Yeah. He started, he's kind of, yeah, coming into his own. I remember that was the big thing, right? When Steve got his pro card, everybody's like, this is the next Mr. Olympia, which is almost a curse. Because when you hear that, it's like, well, that almost never, ever happens. But he's starting to really come into his own. And maybe one day that is going to be a, a prophecy that he fulfills. It just shows how much of a long game bodybuilding really is. Yeah. It doesn't happen like it's in a, a couple game, years. It takes no doubt about it. Ages. Uh, Let me tell you, that big boom and most muscular boy, that's going to that's gonna score well with the judges. And you're going to see that in comparison when these guys come back a little bit later for these uh, uh, night show comparisons. That shot right there, the crab shot, yeah. the hands on hips, these are all right in his wheelhouse. I mean, his doubts are literally bigger than his head. Tell you what, the crowd is going uh, crazy for Steve. We're back here watching this thing, and it's crazy that you can hear these guys screaming for Steve like I hadn't heard anybody else so far. He's, you know, he's a good guy to like, man. Firefighter. He's married to Amanda Latona. That certainly yeah. doesn't hurt. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, he, he, but he's a good kid. You know what I mean? And that's what I like about Steve. He's genuine. Again, uh, like just like Josh, he has that rugged physique. You yeah. can tell he lifts yeah, heavy. very similar to, to yeah. uh, Josh. The firefighter from Texas. Stephen Kuklo. Another very big guy. Both him and Josh are in the 275, 280. Do it. Do it. Come on. Come on. 